bless you and reward you and elevate you and use you for all that is good. Amen. Use you as a voice, not just for our community, but for all of those that are in need. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep you sincere, Amen. keep you firm, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put tranquility always in your heart and in the heart of your, hearts of your family. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to all be joined with the most awesome man that you mentioned, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Jannat al-Firdaus. Allahumma ameen. Everyone say ameen. Ameen. Alhamdulillah. So, um, I think that, you know, the first thing that came to my mind immediately, and this is just personal connection as well, your mother, may Allah have mercy on her. Um, I also lost my mother to cancer. Mm -hmm. And I just want you to talk about that a little bit, if you don't mind, inshallah. Yeah. Her, her influence on you and as a person and, and, and what you see from that. She would be so happy for me to be here with you. And she was just a phenomenal woman who inspired me so much. Her and my grandmother and the Muslims that I mentioned earlier, you know, they set the foundation for me to not be afraid to be Muslim. What you saw in city council, a lot of people called me like, and they emailed me like, man, we were so happy to see you say takbir. You know, and I was like, so we do, I mean, that's what we do, man. She ain't, that ain't nothing new. But we say takbir, Allahu Akbar, in the middle of the street. We don't care. You know, you're not sending us nowhere, you know. Um, so my mother, she was just a phenomenal woman, and she was very serious about Islam. My grandmother was very serious about Islam. My grandfather, you know, they were very serious about Islam. And I love Islam. I'm not the best Muslim, so I don't want you to think for one second I'm that. But I love Islam, and I don't know where I would be without it. And my mother, she was very big on service, giving back to the community. And I don't get into that, you know, if people are Christian or they have other ways of life. Like, I don't care about that stuff. That's a lost business. It's not up for us. You know, it's not for me to make somebody Muslim. What I want people to say is that I helped them because I was a human being. And then they say, oh wow, and you're Muslim. Oh wow, oh, okay. So by the time they find out that I'm Muslim, their hearts are already inclined to what we're doing because I'm there paying for their children's funerals or I'm there uh, you know, when their children are shot in the hospital, I'm there at every aspect. So anything good that you see in me is my mother. Anything bad, I picked it up along the way. That's me. Inshallah, make dua for me. Inshallah, may Allah bless you. I mean, how has your how's the response been in Cleveland to you being the? Uh... Shukran, thank you. Thank you. I get this crying for my mother too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the response has been interesting. As I said earlier, you know, to run for city council, I ran against an incumbent. I actually ran four years ago and I lost by 600 votes. I ran again, I won by 13 votes. <laughs> Voting matters, okay? <laughs> and uh, we raised, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Mm. And I raised $80,000, $80,000. You usually to run for city council in Cleveland, maybe 35,000. I raised 80,000, 70, 77,000 came from the Jewish community who believed in the message that I was given. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you for clapping, but I was really upset about it, honestly, <laughs> that the Muslims only gave 3,000. And I have two masjids in my area, and neither one of them supported me in my, in my race. Um, but now everyone supports me now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I would say to the, to the Muslims out there who are, who are engaged and Get engaged in politics. You know, you have to vote. Whether you think so or not, politics affects your everyday life. And we have to be involved so that our voices are heard. So one of the first things that I did when I became councilman is I brought the congresswoman into the masjid and said that you have to speak on behalf of what's going on in Syria and what's going on in Palestine. You have to speak up about this. Because if not, who's going to speak up? And the best people to speak up about this 
are the indigenous Muslims of, of here in America. Um, because they can't send us nowhere. What are they gonna send us? Nope, this is our country, this is what we fought for. And this is your country too. So you might as well speak up and speak out about it. So alhamdulillah, I'm happy to be on city council, but more importantly, to receive all the messages that I receive from all across the globe. Um, I'm going to Nigeria, I'm going to Pakistan, I'm going to these places where Muslims are really excited, and I'm happy that they're excited. Um, and I'm happy that you're excited, and I'm happy that you're proud, uh, because that's the only thing that I really wanted. I wanted the Muslims to be proud and to be confident to be Muslim, so that when you put that hijab on, you know what I mean? Like, you happy, you proud. And I want to say to the men who are here, man, I, I, I'm sorry, can I? I'll look the other I, I way. See, I see stories of, of certain cities where Muslim women are getting their hijabs pulled off. I'm like, what? Man, let that happen in Cleveland, man. Let that happen in Cleveland. Oh, my God. Uh, SubhanAllah, I'm, I'm not promoting violence, but I'm promoting you standing up for your community. If somebody can, if somebody can disrespect your woman and you do nothing about it, we're doomed as a community and as men. And then the women grow a resentment towards their men. Like, where are you to stand up? They grow a resentment. Where are the men? Where are the men? Domestic violence is real, Sheikh, in the Muslim community. Domestic violence is a real thing. So you come home and you beat your, not y'all, I'm not talking about y'all. I'm talking about your cousins, some of your cousins in there. <laughs> you, beat, <laughs> you beat your wife, but when it comes to standing up for justice, you're silent. I mean, that's, you know. MashaAllah. May Allah well, help us all. I mean, I mean, and I think Like, Sheikh, I'm sorry. No, do your, do your thing. When I saw you, when I saw you getting arrested in D.C., I believe it was, it brought tears to my eyes. I was telling my wife, I said, I wish I was there with him. Like, why is he getting arrested without me? Like, I want to be right there with him. <laughs> to see you, to see you, Imam, you are the exam. I'm not trying to, I know you, I know you, I know but you are the example of what Muslims should be doing in this country. Stand up, speak up, speak out. Maybe. Wallahi, man, wallahi, man. When I see you out there, when I see uh, the sister Linda, I don't know if she, the sister Linda, man, I'll be seeing, I'll be, like, be so excited because this is what Muslims should be doing. We have to stand up and speak out for justice depend, despite who it's against or who it's for. Maybe. And when people see you, then they start saying, because let me be honest with you, the majority of businesses that are owned in my community are owned by Muslims. And it has la ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, so it's not in the background, but 40 ounces being sold out of their coolers. So this has an impact on people's view of what Muslims are. But when we see you, we are inspired and we are motivated and we say this is what Islam is supposed to be. <laughs> I love you and I appreciate you. I love you. And, and subhanAllah, I really do mean that, but this is about you. So we're going to oh, shift it back on you. SubhanAllah. <laughs> MashaAllah, you've, you've, you've been uh, an inspiration to all of us, alhamdulillah. And I really do mean that, truly mean that. The confidence that was, uh, that's in your voice when you talk about your deen and the confidence that's in, and, and the sincerity of it. May Allah bless you. Amen. And um, allow that to be on the scale of your mother as well, because I know that's what counts to you. Amen. Um, I want to just kind of speak to this really quickly. Tell me about, we, we have to speak for justice for all. When you look in Islam, who are the heroes that you draw inspiration from? You mentioned the Prophet ﷺ. What is it that you're drawing from? What's keeping you going from your faith? Because I think that's what I really want to get to for the crux of it, yeah. for all of us. What keeps you going through this? You know, when we study, I'm also a student at Bayonne Claremont, for my folks, anybody from California here? Anybody, Cali? No? All right. But uh, I'm a student at Bayonne Claremont, and I received the Muhammad Ali Scholarship, so I'm getting my master's in Islamic studies and leadership. Inshallah. Yeah. Um, but of course, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I mean, when you look at his life, he was just so courageous and so loving. And, and, and look at this hadith, Sheikh. When a man came to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and asked him, who do you love most? He said, I love Aisha. <laughs> like, that's a sign, like, he said, well, no, of the men who you love. Her father. So it's all, if your wife ain't your best friend, then man, you're in a messed up situation, man. But even he loved the one that was connected to his wife, which is his father. So 
I want to just say thank you to my family, man. My family, my wife, man, my man, man. They just, they are the, man, she a beat. And she go, what's up, baby? <laughs> this is my girl right there. I mean, look. You know what I mean? She, uh, you know, they, they are, my family is, an, I have an amazing family. But, you know, I don't look that, that far. I look at people like Imam Jamil al who's still locked up, still locked down right now and who stood up and fought for justice. I look at people like Imam Warfi Muhammad. I look at people like, I look at these people who are right here, Muhammad Ali, who is my hero. I look at people like this. But I look at my mother. I look at my grandmother. I look at my, my, my aunties and uncles who are from communities right here in this country. And now, alhamdulillah, through ICNA, I'm getting a chance to meet my brothers and sisters from Philistine and from, and from Jordan and from, you know what I mean, Somalia. Somalia, are you here? Let's go out in, let's go out in. Hey, my fiance, hey, okay. Um, I'm meeting my brothers and sisters from different countries um, who are all, who have, who have courage, and I'm just excited to work with them. And I, and I say this because I know we have to close. I'm really interested in working with ICNA. Um, ICNA does this very beautiful thing where you have these houses that support Muslim women and children. And we don't have one in Cleveland. And wouldn't it be amazing in a city that had the first Muslim city councilman to also have the first Muslim domestic violence shelter. Wouldn't that be amazing? Alhamdulillah. <laughs> I, think that, I think that it's a tragedy that we have places like the Salvation Army and other Christian organizations that support Muslim women more than Muslim organizations do. So we have to support those Muslim organizations that are here as well as develop more and I'm hoping that before I leave here, that we can open up an ICNA house right in Cleveland. Inshallah. Inshallah. I mean. So, last question that I'm going to talk about your book, Inshallah. What's next, Inshallah? So, are you going to be the mayor, congressman, president? We would love you as president. I'm just saying. Inshallah. You know, Sheikh, I like, I go from. You know, I'm going to be Congress or do mayor. But just like last week, I was like, man, I'm moving to Ghana, man. I'm out of here. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. It, it changes from time to time. But while I'm here, I pray that I can just be just an example of courage. Not, just don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Like, what, like what you scared of? What's the, what are we scared of when Allah is our protecting friend? And... What are, we, what are we worried about? What can they do to us? What can they do to us? Absolutely. And my phone is tapped. And I, I mean, I don't, man. <laughs> we were all tapped when we were born with those angels that we have. So what are wow. we worried about, the FBI or CIA? They're going to do what they're going to do. They're here. They're here. I mean, salam alaikum. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, but we're, gonna, we're not doing anything wrong. We're going to stand up for justice. We're going to stand up. And we're not going to be afraid. And we have to start within masjids. To the imams who are here, I urge you to get your young people ready to take on leadership. We're always saying tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. But to tomorrow is today. And we have to get our young people prepared for the reality that we're not going to always be here. And I think that that's what we have to work on with it. I got a chance to go to the Mena camp in Indiana uh, this past, a couple weeks ago and talking to the young Muslims about leadership, about not being afraid that we don't have, you don't have to be like little Yadi, okay? Y'all know who that is, I know, y'all know. You don't have to be like Nikki and Taylor Swift, you know, when you have the best examples in Islam. And we don't have to look so far, Sheikh, when we have people like yourself right. who are living every single day with right. courage exactly. and with love. I love you, I, I gotta say this before we go, because I know you said it's about me, but it's not about me. It's about you, right. it's about the future of tomorrow, because wallahi, we all leaving this earth very soon. Right. We all leaving. And I think that's what keeps me, keeps me going is that, wallahi, it could be our last day. Wallahi, we may never see each other again. We may never see each other again. But I want to say to your children, don't be afraid. There's nothing more for you but Islam. You're going to go and chase that dunya, but it's like the shadow. You can't ever catch it. And you're going to come back. But inshallah, you don't allow the dunya to take you to dark places where you forget the, what the light is. Inshallah. Stay connected to Islam. 
Oh, I'm telling you, if you don't stay connected to that, you don't have anything else. There's nothing in the streets for you. I'm telling you. There's nothing in the streets for you. Stay connected to Islam. Stay connected to Islam. Stay connected to Islam. Allah ibarak fikum. Zakum Allah khair. So, on everything that we try to do at Yaqeen Institute for Islamic Research is produce people that will have this confidence that you're talking about. And I think that, alhamdulillah, you received the Muhammad Ali scholarship from, uh, from Bayan Claremont. Yeah. And uh, Bayan Claremont, and I, I had the blessing to visit there recently and teach there actually, alhamdulillah, and you were there. And every year at Confident Muslim, we give the Confident Muslim, uh, Muhammad Ali Confident Muslim oh. Award. And um, so last year, we, uh, we gave it to Sister Hirat Hashmi, who actually uh, spoke here, mashallah. And um, inshallah ta'ala, this year we'll also have the Muhammad Ali Confident Muslim Award. It was presented last year by Rashida Ali. So, do you guys think he's a contestant for the Muhammad Ali Confident Muslim Award? Alhamdulillah. So, we, 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 it, it's such an honor to have you. And um, I, I don't want to lavish praise because I, I know you don't like that. Um, SubhanAllah. I, I, but but I, I know that this last hour just changed things for a lot of people, alhamdulillah. Yeah. So I appreciate you and I really appreciate you taking the time out to be with us, alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah. Um, you wrote a book called I'll Speak for Change. Yeah. Can you talk about the book, inshallah? So I have a poetry book. I only bought a hundred of them. Um, but I have a poetry book called I'll Speak for Change. I love poetry. That's how I began. And uh, I do like to rap sometimes. So if you go on YouTube and you <laughs> hear some raps, just make du'a for me if you don't like music or whatever. <laughs> just cut it off or whatever. But uh, I think that poetry and hip hop is, is my bubblegum flavor medicine. You know, people don't like to take medicine, but I like to put it in a flavor that people will be okay with. And um, so I have 100 books there. And, uh, and, and I, they're $10, and I would love for you to get it. But a percentage of that, I would like to go um, towards um, the Yaqeen Institute, inshallah ta'ala. Ta you know? So if you could join me, inshallah, thank you. Um, inshallah ta'ala, so that means, I, so I have, I want to take a percentage and give to Yaqeen. If you can join me in supporting the Yaqeen Institute. Are you familiar with the Yaqeen Institute? The Yaqeen Institute is doing a phenomenal, phenomenal job under the leadership of Sheikh Omar. And he's doing such an amazing job, and we have to support him because the attacks are going to grow. We like to support people when there's, there's the limelight, but we're not there when they need us most. So inshallah, if you can join me today, not tomorrow, and make a donation to the Yaqeen Institute, how can people make donations? So you became the interviewer just now. I'm sorry. MashaAllah. No, may Allah bless you. I'll take that. I'll take that. No, it's yaqeeninstitute.org slash donate, alhamdulillah. Okay, so, and we just, we just released the app on Android as well. So we had the iOS app. So you can download the app. Everything is free, alhamdulillah. Can we give you so. some money today? Can we just like write a check to you? What do there they write go. the check to? They'll write it to Bashir Jones. <laughs> Yaqeen Institute is a non nonprofit. They can it's tax deductible, inshallah. They can yeah, write to you. So that's Y A Q E E N yes. Institute, inshallah. So I know, sisters, you spent a lot of money this week. I know it. <laughs> but if you can write a check to the Yaqeen Institute, inshallah, so we can support our brother who's out in the in the, in the, in the struggle and fighting and fighting on behalf of us, inshallah. Please write a check today, brothers, to the Yaqeen Institute, inshallah. Jazakallah khair. Sure. Allah bless you. Um, you're going to be over there, inshallah, with, with the books, inshallah. So anyone that wants to purchase a book can, can uh, go over there, inshallah, ta and they'll meet you over there. But on behalf of everyone here, on behalf of ICNA, Mass, Yaqeen Institute, and just the entire uh, Muslim community, Jazakallah khair for making us so proud. May Allah bless you and your wife and your family. The 501c3, we don't endorse any political candidates, even if we love them. Uh, so just want to make sure we didn't endorse any political candidates. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, yeah, we love all our brothers and sisters who are running for office.